Lord Bellius' private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild! Brave Vesperia! I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if Old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going too. Welcome. Staying the night? I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. A friend of yours? No. I'm afraid no one else has arrived today. <sighs> that hopeless old man must still be wandering around. Then why don't we go talk to some more people ourselves? All right. She's shopping. Give me one of these and one of these. E yes, ma'am. Wait a second, dear. Um, those clothes are. Uh, I'm sorry, but are you Eifried's granddaughter? It's just that there's been a rumor going around. People say there's a girl dressed like Eifried who claims to be his granddaughter. Uh. Huh? Granddaughter? That means... I knew it. Your total comes to 450 gold. Hmm. Uh, um, could I ask you to stop coming here? Is that because... I'm Eifried's granddaughter? Uh, well, you see, I don't really mind myself, but our customers, you see. Huh? What? Wait just a second. I didn't say anything like that. Darling, you just said it hurt our reputation if the granddaughter of an outlaw shopped here. Well, yeah, she's the granddaughter of a guy who violated the guild's morals and slaughtered tons of people. Well, that... Cut the crap. What? Do you honestly think a child is responsible for that? What exactly did she do that was wrong? It's okay, Yuri. No need to get angry. This kind of stuff happens all the time. What is up with you? He was saying all of that for your sake. You don't have to worry about me. I'm leaving town soon enough anyway. Farewell. Uh, hey, wait up! <sighs> Ugh, I swear. Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? 
I wonder what that's all about. She never mentioned that before. I wonder if it's true. I don't know. Who knows? But even so, is Eifried's reputation really that bad? After the Black Hope Massacre, he lost the trust of every guild. And now most guild members utterly despise him. Ah, okay. Uh, Yuri, are you sure it's okay to let her go? This is Patty we're talking about. She's a strong girl. I'm sure she'll be fine. Right. Anyway, if we don't get back soon, the old man might get sick of waiting and start some mischief again. That's true. Is Patty alright? She's tough. She'll pop back up soon enough. Do you think Patty's really Eifried's granddaughter? Even if she is, that treatment is inexcusable. Patty has done nothing wrong. Regardless of the guild's trust, it's not unusual that Patty would bear the brunt of the anger. Eifried isn't around to take it after all. But that's still no excuse to blame Patty. True. Patty, you mustn't get used to all of this. Customers from before. Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have a companion who's a flashy dresser. Well, flashy's one way to describe him. I see. Your rooms have already been paid for, so please make yourselves at home. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. The world's poison? Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. The End. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay.
You started all of this! Huh? What are you talking about? B -b -b both of you! St stop this nonsense! M -m making a scene like this out in front of everyone! Mind your own business! You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! If I'm wrong for doing this, you'll have my apology later. But I think it's you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Are you okay? Oh, thank you so m much. You were with, with m m Madam President C Kaufman. We're the Guild Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're a gay of Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go trying to stop any more fights. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, um, there's a f favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it from us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? P perhaps we could discuss this s somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anyone else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. If Ruinsgate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment... ...is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first? And then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Valius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? 
All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. <sighs> Man, what's with that guy? Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palastrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palastrale to investigate the ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took control, it would be discourteous to the Antilochia. Antilo what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay, so then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Colosseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palastrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Y yes. P please, for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of course, and he's being backed by Le Leviathan's Claw. Le Leviathan's Claw plans to use the... Coliseum for income to, to, to dominate the other guilds. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Hugh Moore and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do... I... I beg your pardon. Is this a d difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right! As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well. I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. W well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. Coliseum sure attracts a lot of different kinds of people, doesn't it? Yes, people are here for all sorts of reasons. Some come to fight, some come to watch. And then there's people like us, too. 
I wonder what other people think when they see us on the streets. Well, I'd say they think we're here for the fights. Maybe for you and Yuri, but I couldn't imagine Estelle as a gladiator if my life depended on it. What about me? Hmm, a lost child? Hey! Well then, what about all... Never mind, I know where this is going. Show, have a go! Beat your foes! Battle-hardened fighters! The Coliseum is currently accepting applications! You want to give it a go? I had a feeling you were going to be a contestant! All right, get fired up and head on inside! Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the brutal battles of the Nordopolica Coliseum! First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, not only will you receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri, good luck! You'll do great, Yuri! Try not to hurt yourself. <sighs> I wanted to fight. You're still going on about that? Look at all these people. This should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum. Hailing from the new guild, Brave Vesperia, please welcome Yuri Rowe! His opponent, a former knight turned political activist with a prison record to boot, Gigantus Erendar! One, a battle-hardened fighter. One, a fledgling youth. The outcome looks set. But is it? Welcome to the crossroad between heaven and hell. Our first fight is on! Fight! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Destruction field! Destruction! Uh, I guess that was an okay warm-up. For our second round, we welcome the hellacious bandana-clad thief, Yugum Jerome! <laughs> Where are the starfish? Give me the starfish! Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri! Hold still. I'll make this quick. Destruction! Destruction! Shining Eagle! Shining Eagle! No way. That was too easy. On to the third round! A masked warrior, undefeated with the sword, Johan Dummer! Soon, you will know the exquisite pain of my sword! Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell! Is it blind luck? Is it pure skill? Everything will be decided in this one battle! 
Which of these warriors will extinguish the flames of their opponent's burning soul? Fight! Cold still. I'll make this quick. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, I feel good. Wow, look at Yuri go! Looks like he's got the goods all right. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event! Allow me to introduce the current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum! What? What do you mean? It's the heartthrob with the steely gaze! Flynn Shifo! Yuri? What are you doing here? Huh. So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Coliseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? <laughs> so we're being used. It seems that way. Men of the Coliseum, let the flames of your valor burn bright! It's time for the final showdown! <laughs> Aren't you cutting it a bit close? Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. You could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. Chevy Falcon! Take this! So, care to explain what you're doing here? You know, nightly duties and such. Afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Coliseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. <sighs> Damn! Ha, ha, ha. Take this! Damn! Ha. I think it's great you're taking your promotion so seriously. But be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. And don't you think it's about time you returned Her Highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her Highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, Her Highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. Sonic Thrust! All right. Well, shall we put an end to this little show? How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri Lowell! Oh, you gotta be kidding. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? Yuri! You've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you! Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Man, why not do something a little more productive with all- Watch this! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? Oh, screw this. I'm out of here. How do you like my arm? You did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you. <laughs> Yuri! Come, Yuri. Let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. Now you will meet 
reach your doom! Do you seriously think I'm gonna let you get away with using a blast deal like that? <laughs> You're all just jealous of my arm. You should really use that tenacity for something more productive. <laughs> Worship me! Fear me! Let me feel your rage! Alright. Destruction me! As a wolf Stand idiots who don't respect Blastia. I'm not done yet. Finish that one. Oh, I feel so powerful. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's out of his control. That's what he gets for using it like that. This damn Blastia's not doing what I want it to. Are you 
Done already? You'll be gone soon enough. You're gone! This is becoming a real pain in the neck. Less talking, more fighting! What? Hey! What's going on? Could this box be causing everything? Him! Hear me, Knights. Sodia will command this division and eliminate the remaining monsters. Shouldn't evacuating these people come first? The rest of you will defend the spectators with me. Don't let even one of the beasts escape. <laughs> Looks like Flynn was thinking ahead. He even sounds like a real captain already. We're getting out of here. Judith and your puppy dog already took off. Yeah, I heard. A hero's work is never done. Hello? Wait up! Hey! He got out of the city. He's pretty good at running away. Repeat is still after him. Hopefully he won't lose the trail. But what's the deal anyway? Why would Regay? Think he set us up somehow? Looks that way. He used us to keep Flynn from carrying out his orders. Orders? Relax. It doesn't look like he's here to recapture any princesses. He wouldn't go through the trouble of entering the tournament for that. Well then what could it be? Good question. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was hurting Regay's plans. But Regay seemed so polite. He didn't seem too polite when he was making off with that case. This might mean Ruin's Gate is nothing more than a false front. Still, what could he want with that case? Just what was the clear Ciel crystal? About all we know now is that something in that box made my magic go all haywire. I'd never lost control of my Bodhi Blastia like that before. Hey, if we've got the time to be standing around, chatting, shouldn't we be chasing after your doggy friend? You're right, we should be going. Damn that reggae. What could he possibly want with that case? Well, our genius mage's magic was kind of weird. He must have thought it was linked to that box. Then you think reggae knows what's in the box? The only way we'll find out is by going after him. If he stole it knowing what was inside, then he must know what the clear CL crystal can do. If we catch him, we might learn something about Jormgen. Okay, now we definitely can't let him get away. Yes, we don't have a moment to lose.
Look, is this? Repeat will be able to follow his scent with this. We've got to get that case back. Yeah, there's that too. Guilds don't take kindly to backstabbing cheats. That's right. He couldn't just cross the mountains to the west without preparing first. We should be able to catch up with him. All right, let's get him. Do you think the Colosseum will be okay? Are you worried about it? Do you want to wait here with Rita then? What do you mean? This is a guild matter after all. Nothing for you little ladies to worry yourselves over. Sorry Estelle, but I'm going too. I'm curious about that red case. Besides, I won't feel right till I give that idiot a piece of my mind. Then I... Decide for yourself. I... I'll come too. If he was trying to obstruct the Knights, then this could be connected to the Empire. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, the Colosseum will be fine. Flynn's got a handle on things. Well then, let's get our things in order and go after that jerk. Altosk, Fortune's Market, Ruins Gate, and the Blood Alliance. Huh, that makes us one short. Huh? What are you talking about? The Union's five master guilds. We've dealt with four of them, but not the last one. Oh, hey, I don't think I even knew the last one's name. Hey, Carol, what's the last guild called? Ah, that'd be the Blacksmithing Guild, the Soulsmiths. Huh, I didn't know they had a guild for that, too. You've probably used swords forged by the Soulsmiths without even knowing it. You've seen weapons embossed with an iron hammer, right? That's their guild emblem. Oh, yeah, the innkeeper where I used to stay had a kitchen knife with something like that on it. I thought all we'd be doing at the Colosseum was beating bad guys. Now things have gone and gotten complicated. I certainly didn't think we'd be seeing Flynn here. Not to mention that Zoggy guy. And that runaway coward Regay, too. It can't be a coincidence, not with them all here at once. If it is a coincidence, it's the worst one I've ever heard of. Just how bad can our luck be? You think Leviathan's Claw are the ones calling the shots this time? Thinking things through is all well and good, but we don't want Regay skipping out on us. No kidding. We'll finish talking later. Let's go.
Let's eliminate them! No sign of him so far. Do you think he went this way? Maybe he used this to get through to the other side of the mountain. But this cave is the Weezen of Kados! A powerful monster called Terrapus lives here! It's supposed to be really dangerous! Or at least that's what Nan told me. Perhaps he went inside without knowing that. like he was hiding out here hoping we just pass him by well now let's have a nice long chat what were you trying to gain setting us up like that back at the Colosseum and get back that case you leave me no choice Leviathan's claw hold still I'll make this quick Guys are all over the place. Guess this means Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw are connected. So they pretend to help with the excavations, then swipe materials and sell them later, huh? Who oh, I'll make them pay, I swear. How could a guild as famous and renowned as Ruins Gate do something like that? Judith, wait! He'll get away if we don't hurry. Remember what I said? There's a really nasty monster living in there! Hey, what do you say we call it a day? Old Raven can't afford to get too far from Nordopolica without getting this letter to Bellius. The Don will hit me with another one of his thankless jobs otherwise. Well, I'm going after him. I can't let somebody like that just do whatever with the Blastia he takes from the ruins! Then I'm gonna get that case back, too! I'm going too. What are you talking about? You're staying put here. I'm not. Huh. This doesn't sound like something Brave Asperia can very well pass up. Yeah. It's our job to protect Estelle. If we all go together, we're bound to come up with something. 
sure you'll be all right without the Great Raven? I think so. Good luck delivering the letter. Ugh. Jeez, aren't you even gonna try to stop me from leaving? Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get caught. Here comes a new spell. Ready? This is my style. This. Take this. My style. This! Justice. Sexuality. Would you stop? Finish that one. Thank you, thank you. An easy win. Let me at him! Reaper Knock! I'll punish you! Okay, Strength doesn't matter! Reaper Knock! Reaper Knock! Oh, shit! 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 You'll be gone soon enough. Reaper knock! All my heart! Get them down! Get out of here! Destroy the line! Power All my heart, baby! All my love! Brilliant! 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 Annihilate the vulgar! You didn't think I was that strong, did you? Guess we'll fight. We'll strike! Have a break! Get a spin! As you're rich! Destructo Pinchon! Out of my way! Yeah. Watch out! This one's tough! As you're rich! Stop! Bring it over! Top! Yeah. Come on, wind! Knock him around! Cut him! Cut him! Cut him! Cut him! Cut him! Cut him! Smile! 
Tell the flavoring to This? Nah, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. Let's eliminate them! Okay, let's go. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Did you just hear something? Right here! Whoa! Wait! Patty? Ah! We meet again! You sure pop up in the weirdest of places. Still looking for Eifried's treasure? Aye! That I am! Hey! What kind of treasure is it anyway? Prepare to have your socks blown off! It's... The Maristella. What is that? Um, I... I'm not sure. Wow, even our walking encyclopedia hasn't heard of it. Out of Eifried's treasures, the Maristella is the most precious. Well, has anyone found it yet? treasures precisely because they're hard to find. You're a weirdo. Hey, I heard in Nordopolica that you're Eifried's granddaughter. Is that true? Whoa, little lady, that right. I wonder how the Don would react if he found out his sworn ally had a granddaughter. Now that you mention it, the Don and Eifried were friends since before the Union was formed, weren't they? But hey, you're lying, right? About being Eifried's granddaughter. I mean... You never said anything about that before. It's the truth. I think. You think? What do you mean? I mean, I'm speculating. Estelle's asking why you would claim someone's your grandfather based on just speculation. Oh, well, that's because I have amnesia. Am... Amnesia? Yep. Then you don't know for sure whether you really are Eifried's granddaughter? There's no doubt it's true, I think. Ugh, come on! Make up your mind! Which is it? Because I don't know. I'm searching for the Maristella because I don't know. So basically, to get your memories back, you want to meet Eifried, a guy who might be your gramps. And to find him, you're looking for that Maristella treasure. That sound about right? Aye. Someday I'll meet my grandpa. But... On a more urgent subject, shouldn't we be going after the red box? Oh, right! Hey, why are you following us? I was planning on going this way anyway. Then why don't we travel together? I'd like that. This isn't like going shopping, you know. I know that. 
If something happens, I'll help out. Well, aren't you helpful? <sighs> Again? This food's a staple, but... I do wonder why we always have the same thing to eat. We have other recipes we could be making. Carol only stocks up on the same ingredients. Rita said she liked it so much she could eat it every day. Hey, the old man was whining about how he hates every other kind of food. Well, Yuri was going on and on about how we have to save money on food. Judy, didn't you say this would be a good way to compare our cooking? I thought Estelle was trying to perfect this dish. I want something else. Me too. Me three. I'm tired of this. Same. Our other recipes are going to waste. All right, let's eat something different next time, okay? You were all unhappy with the meal. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Destruction field! Hold still. I'll make this quick. Tiger Blade! <laughs> was only in stories. It happens all the time. Get caught up in an explosion during a failed Blastia experiment and there go all your memories. But losing all of your memories is pretty rare. It's a tragedy. That it is. Well, even if your past memories are gone, you can start creating new memories from now on. There's no need to be pessimistic. I see. That's a different point of view. I'll stuff my mind's album with memories of Yuri! Yuri and more Yuri! Just thinking of it makes me shiver. I... I hope there might be a little room for me in there. I... I think we can squeeze you into a corner somewhere. You don't scare me! We're done.
feel like an easy win. Let's just get it over with. Take this! Dragon over! Have a swirl! Oh, 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 That's over. Yeah, I feel good. here too what do we do charge right in I don't think so Judith is right touching air that thick is dangerous I I can't believe that something like that would s save me wait ah! it looks like we'll have to keep our distance w what's this sh shaking Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? Uh, no! I've never seen a monster like that before! No, Patty, don't! Whoa! It ate the air? No! I... I can't move! Oh no! This is not... good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful! Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right, charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Y yeah. Peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? Monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, it looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. He must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. How feeble looking! Don't get cocky!
Remember to keep a sharp eye out! Bye. <laughs>